ready for the grand reveal. Cha -cha. So, this is my hair. Hey, everybody. Anybody that watches my channels, I finally finished my hair. So, after two painstakingly days, this is what I came up with. I like it a lot. It's like super bright. So I got the yellow at the bottom. Then I faded to the orange. And then I have pink. And then like a cherry red. I got the red up here too, kind of a little bit. But I like it. So. I'm content with it. I think it came out good. It was very, very painful. Um, I had to, step one, um, remove the dark purple that I had in my hair, which was, I used a bleach. I was going to record the process, but I'll put like a little bit of it to help show you how I can get it so that it doesn't bleed. So that I show how to get clean, like how to get cleaned lines. You don't have to worry about spots and stuff like that. Because I've been doing my hair for such a long time. But, yeah, I'll show you how how I do that, if anybody cares. Um, okay, so yeah, I used a 40 developer with bleach. So I could strip the purple and it would not come out. I left it in my hair for 90 minutes. And... It turned my hair, like, and I was prepared for it to be really hard for me to go from a dark to a light color. I was prepared. So, I went to satellites and bought, like, a crap load of stuff. Excuse me. Okay, so, I put the bleach in, and then, um, I left it in for about 90 minutes, and then when I washed it out, there was, like, shades of pink and blue and green and gray and like some of it looked really pretty but and then some of it was like a brassy yellow just like all these different colors and I don't know how I got pink from purple I don't know but it was it turned to hot pink so I guess that's why some of the places with the hot pink caught really well, because I couldn't get that off. But then I had this kit that was called One and Only. Um, it's supposed to remove unwanted hair color from your hair. So it helps split the dye molecules, kind of like a toner, but different. Um, it's something that you can continuously use repeatedly until your hair is the desired color. <clears throat> and then you put like a finishing lotion and leave it in the hair so that the um, it closes the pores so, um, in the hair or something like that. That's what the box said. It closes it so that that way um, it helps also so it doesn't get so damaged. Um, so I did that two times. And then like by the end of the night, my like scalp was in so much pain. So... I slept, woke up the next day, and then I decided to start um, dyeing the hair. So then I couldn't figure out how I was going to do it. How did I want to split it up or what I was going to do? Did I want to fade it into colors or did I want to just go all over with different chunks? So I just decided to go all over with different colored chunks so that it would end up blending. And I would have to say I'm really liking it. And then <clears throat> after, well, I ended up, okay, so I split both sides right here, like right up to here. Oh, got a piece of orange. And this was a yellow. But, of course, when you rinse it, sometimes it bleeds. So this is a yellow. Then, okay, and that, this is, this is um, bright as fuck yellow. That's the yellow. And then I did napalm orange, which is this awesome color. That's that. Oops. 
some of the pink is lending into that one. See, like, look how bright that is. It's freaking awesome. I don't even know if the camera's picking it up, but it's super bright. And then here at the top is where I had, I had some trouble removing some of the color, because you notice how this is like a dark color right here? Well, this was trying to remove chemically treated black, blue-black hair dye. And this is what the red turned out. Because I put it on, I figured I did the red on the darkest parts. Because I know if I put like the light ones, it wouldn't turn up too well. Same thing on this side. Except this side was a little bit lighter. This side did a little bit better. So it's like a copperish color or whatever. And then with my bangs, since I'm trying to grow them out, I did this side pink and the top side red. So, and then when I did my hair, I just did a diagonal. So, because I'm trying to get these bangs to grow out. And they're awkward because they're just like too long. And then I took, I washed it all out till the water ran clear. And then at Sally's, they recommended like some Moroccan oil treatment to use for bleached hair afterwards. So, that's what I did with my hair. And it doesn't feel bad at all. I feel soft. And I have this new blowout treatment that I got from Hot Look, which gives me like tons of volume. But I like my hair. I really, really, really like it. I really like it. I'm very happy with it. So, what do you think? Yes? No? Doesn't matter. I like it anyway. So, it's really bright inside. I can only imagine what it's going to look like in the sun. So today was a good day. Good hair, do good, good hair dye. I got a wig in the mail, which I'm so excited about. And then I found out that I won an auction on eBay from the same wig seller I always buy. And I got a wig for $3.99. And it's kind of like my aqua one, but it's like a dark blue. But yeah, update on the hair. I'll probably include some pictures of the process, or not. I think I have a picture of, I'm probably just going to show a picture of what it looked like after the bleach for the first time, because it looks really pretty, but yay for hair dye. I finally can say I have had every color under the sun now that I have yellow and orange. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.